Welcome to this five part video series looking at creating Revit models from point cloud data. This video is part one and we'll look at the general workflow and learning objectives that we're going to cover. Due to the nature of the data sets from laser scanning, it is worth mentioning that there is no sequential method to the 3D modeling process from point cloud data. Therefore, a combination of different methods may be used to achieve the required results. There are three major steps to creating a 3D model from point clouds. Step one, importing the point cloud. An indexed point cloud can be imported from ReCAP Using ReCAP, a raw format such as E57, PTS, PTX, FAS, etc. can be imported and indexed to RCP slash RCS format. The amount of data produced by laser scanners is huge, hundreds of millions to even billions of points. So a Revit model links a point cloud as a reference rather than embedding the file. Step two, editing the point cloud. A point cloud can be cut by plans, sections and section boxes, allowing you to easily isolate sections of the cloud to model. Step 3. Modelling Create the building model by adding architectural elements, structural elements and MEP systems. Looking ahead to the next videos, part 2 and 3 of this video series will demonstrate how to import or insert the point cloud into Revit and also how to set coordinates and levels using the positioning options in Revit. Part 4 will demonstrate how to work with point clouds using the available command tools in Revit. It will demonstrate how to use tools such as the scope box and clipping box to separate objects. Look at creating planar sections and how to move between views to find objects in the cloud. And part 5 will demonstrate how to model some building elements from the point cloud such as walls, windows, doors, stairs, pipes, columns and beams, floors, ceiling and roof. See you in the next part. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe.